You make me move, you make me dance, you make my heart beat, beat super fast. You lift me up, you make me laugh. Baby, you're the best I hey, ever had. Hey, my name is Shantrice Brooks, and I'm coming to y'all with another video. So in this video, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to kind of show you guys what I do on a daily basis to get my hair done within like five minutes tops. So I'm a hairstylist. That means I got to be out the door like really quick just to get to work. I get to work about nine o'clock, and I really don't have a lot of time to do a lot of stuff to myself considering I'm usually beautifying other people so what I found is making wigs has been my go-to thing that I do on a daily basis to help me to save time and save money so I don't have to spend a lot of money getting sew-ins or a lot of time on myself doing my own hair so what I did was I made a custom lace closure wig and then I just learned how to put it on and uh, I just wanted to share it that with you guys so if you just keep on watching that's what you're gonna see right, so starting off what i usually do in the morning is i wake up with wild crazy hair as you can see uh, i have to tame this lion in the morning so the first step to do is when i want to apply my lace closure wig which we're going to be putting on this boy right here and it's a custom lace closure wig that i made uh, something quick and easy so first thing we're gonna do is gonna get a hair tie and you can either braid your hair back in about five or six braids you just want it to be really flat that's the goal to have the top of your hair flat no bulkiness nothing like that of the sort so I'm just gonna tie my hair back in a ponytail just really just pulling on my hair back as much as possible you can brush it but I mean I just stretch my hair out I don't tend to brush my hair when it's curly like this because it's just caused causes a lot of tangles and naps and everything and nobody got time for that so you're just going to put your hair in the ponytail at the back of your head, whatever that looks like for you. You just want to sit it pretty low. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to wrap my ponytail about four or five times when, until it feels pretty tight. And it's usually pretty flat by now. Uh, you might have to just use your fingers to push something down. And then what I like to do next is just grab a hairpin. So there's a difference between a hairpin and a bobby pin. So you want to get the pin that's kind of open if your hair is on the thicker side. Or you can use a bobby pin, either or. It's up to you. The bobby, bobby pin is made for making things flat. And the hairpin is for usually for uh, updos and styles like that, like bridesmaid styles. And what I like to do is I like to wrap my hair around itself a few times so it can become extra flat before I put do go to the next step of putting the cap on and so what I like to do is I like to just bobby pin that so it's super secure and as flat as possible it's not going to be super flat but it's going to be better than it's just bulking out like that so what next I just like to get a stocking cap a hair cap whatever you want to call this some brown because I'm brown and brown people need brown things and it comes in multiple colors. They even have the color beige. And usually when uh, women wear the beige hair stocking cap, they like to put makeup on the top to really match their skin complexion. I'm not really worried about this in the mornings because I'm usually in a rush to go. So today I'm just going to use this color. And I just like to toss it on really quickly. Over the ears, just make sure it's underneath the ponytail at the back, usually at the base of the nape. And then I like to just pull it until the top of it reaches my front hairline. I do not like it to go past my hairline. I like it to sit right on top. And usually if I'm really going to have to go somewhere that day or really don't want to be worried about my hair, I like to spray it with some free spray. So this free spray by Got To Be Glued and right here in the front. It's going to help it stay secure throughout the entire day because once this dries, it's not going nowhere. You can pull, you can tug, it's not going nowhere. And this just gives you some extra sec extra security because if you're the only way your wig can move is if the cap is sliding back. And so that's just going to help it to not slide back as much. So next, after that, it's pretty simple. You just apply the wig. So usually, if you're going to put on the wig every day, it's usually already customized to your head and to your liking. So what I like to do is I like to get my wig and I like to turn it against me and have my elastic band going to where it's going to be around the, my head. And I just flip over just like this, put it around. And then I just flip it onto my head. It's that simple. And then I like to just put it right, 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 right in front of that cap. 
And so after that, you just do a little brushing. You flip in your baby hairs wherever you want them, a little bit of brushing here and there. Make sure it's all tamed and in place. I have light curls in it from the other day. I probably haven't curled this hair in a while. It needs to be actually washed at this point. But this is the great thing about wearing wigs. You can usually go a while without having to put a lot of maintenance into it and not have to worry about it as much. So what I like to do at that point, if, I, if my baby hair wasn't laid, I would spray with a little free spray. My favorite choice of edge control um, is free spray because it makes, it just lasts longer. It gets a secure hold without it being too hard to where it will break your hair off. And then I like to go in with just a rat tail comb or all purpose comb, secure the baby hair where it needs to be, like to tuck it in and then just comb the hair over. And usually, but I've already done this, but usually the hair is not as flat on the lace, the lace closure. So what I like to do next is I like to get a hot comb. And I like to get this really hot on the stove. And uh, usually I let it sit there for about two minutes. And uh, before I even put it to my head, I like to test it on a white towel, a white paper towel. And if any brown comes off, that means it's too hot and you can actually scorch the hair and you do not want to burn your hair. So after do that, I just use the base of the hot comb to comb through. And that is really what's going to make this flat. And you just comb it out or if you don't have a hot comb you can grab any flat iron my preferred flat iron is going to be the babyliss nanium titanium pro who that's a mouthful oh you're so funny Ugh, a mouthful and then all i like to do is just get this really hot put it right here and hold it down and just move it across for a few seconds and spread it across the part and open it up like that a few times and usually by that time, it's all set and it's flat and ready to go. But the only thing that you really have to worry about at that point is flyaways at the top from the closure. So what I like to grab is a wax stick. You can get this wax stick from your local beauty supply store for about 5 to $6. And it has a lot in here, so it's going to last you a, whole, a long time. Look at how much you get. That's amazing. So at this point... I done opened it way too much. Hold on. All right. That's how it works. And you just get the wax stick, and it's pretty simple. You just put it at the top of your head like this. You can also use it to kind of keep the front of your lace closure down where your beginning of your part is. You're just going to put it all at the top. Any flyaways that you see. And after you do that, what I like to do personally is I like to just go in and comb that out because it can be a little bit too shiny if you allow it. Just go in and comb it out. Make sure it's really flat. Make sure there's nothing showing in the back and on the sides. And once that happens, brush your hair out. Add a little serum. My preferred serum is the Palmetry Skinner's Skinny. Blah, 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 blah. Okay words work right the paul mitchell skinny serum this stuff is gold in a bottle it literally is everything i use it for everything i i use it on my hair before i straighten it i use it before i do silk presses before i curl my hair uh during in between me styling my hair i like to use it it's just gonna add shine it's gonna take any roughness away it's just gonna overall just give you a better look for the style that you're doing. So once I've done that, you pretty much are all done. And that is how you put on a lace closure custom wig in about five minutes. After you have made the wig already, it only takes just about a few minutes every morning to get it on. And there's of course little things that you can do here and there to customize it to your liking. I'm not a big fan of baby hair some days and some days I'm not. So you might not always see the baby hair in the front, but it definitely comes in handy. So I thank y'all for watching Beauty His Way. I thank you for watching how to put on this lace closure your wig and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!